G'day guys and welcome back. Uh, today we're doing a pro it's not what people have suggested. I do apologize. I will get on to that um, Ford Raptor slash Ranger one day soon. I will get onto it. At the moment, I'm kind of a little bit pressed for time, sadly. Um, but yes, so today we're going to be building a 19... Hang on, where were we? Uh, we're using a 1965 body, but I'll just quickly... Okay, so we are doing a 1970s Ford Falcon X dub. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is the GDO, GDHO Phase 3. Um, so as you can see, this is probably the closest I can find a body-wise. Uh, it is the closest I can find. So what we're going to be doing with this, I believe they were corrosion resist steel panel material with a monocoque uh, chassis type with a not more corrosion resist it was a front longitudinal with a double wishbone front end and a solid axle leaf rear end uh, I believe that's what it was and now if I go to the engine type I've already built an engine. I wanted to do a bit of tweaking, but I didn't really mean to accidentally build this engine perfectly. Pretty much what we we're going to be doing was the um, 351 Cleveland engine. Uh, we'll rename this Ford Falcon XW. GTHO phase two. Alrighty. Yeah, I didn't really mean to accidentally create the engine, um, but I kind of did. So I'm going to be going down through all these engines, and here it is. It is the V8, 90 degree V8 Cleveland. So I'm going to be selecting this variant. And I'll go through all of what we've got here. So we've got a, a V90 eight cylinder cast block material with a, a family capacity of 103.1 and a stroke of 88.9. That brings us to 5.937 liters or 5,937 cc. Uh, now these Cleveland engines because they were built back in the 70s, they were push rods with two valves per, but they could put out a lot of bloody power. Um, the head material was a cast iron head with no VVL, as per the times, in which I should probably have... Oh yeah, I, I couldn't really change the times now, thank bloody hell. Uh, anyway... Um, so we did a cast iron crank, heavy duty forged, actually well heavy duty, no. So I've done heavy duty forged and forged pistons because if I go any lower they will not survive. Um, as you can see I've got a quality of 15. I'm running a 11 to 1 compression ratio which is about accurate for what they ran. I do believe they ran out of 11 to 1. Um, no VVT. Cam profiles 43. I do believe I could bump that up a bit, but that's about right where it is. Even now, with what I've built already, uh, I spent about three hours on this engine last night trying to get it to work properly. Like it's it's easy as all hell to build a new engine up to date, like an up to date engine, because there's so little things that go wrong. But when you restrict yourself to 1970s tech, it is not easy whatsoever. Um, so pretty much, 
what I did was I gave it a cam profile of 43, no VVT. Uh, it is naturally aspirated. I could put a turbo on it if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. Um, the fuel system was a carb four barrel to represent the holly carb that they used to have, the four barrel holly carb. Uh, single carburetor, standard intake, which I do believe is struggling a little bit. Oh, it's actually not doing too bad. It's only dropping a little bit there. Uh, it's running ultimate ROM. Um, I could drop it down to regular, but it wants to die even with 95 and like super, even with super, it just wants to die because it's just running a little bit too rich to the point where it just really wants to die, but there's, I could not find any other way to get it running at the right power around the right RPM. Um, as you can see, fuel mixture is 12.2, ignition timing 77, which I do believe was, yeah, which was the best for what it was. RPM is 8,000. Uh, quality was max for that, otherwise it was going to die. Um, so we're going short cast headers, accurate to what they were, uh, dual exhaust at 76.2 millimeters with a high flow three way of reverse flow and straight through. Oh, actually I can get more power if I just go to reverse flows. Oh, maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that actually. Um, so yeah, we'll go, uh, 76.2 high flow three way reverse flow and a secondary reverse flow. And now, I do believe it should ideally work. Um, so the power output we were looking for with it was 224 kilowatts at 5,400 RPM and 515 newton meters of torque or 380 foot-pound of torque at 3,400. So I'm about 600 RPM off with the power, but I'm also, uh, what was it, about 14 higher in kilowatts. So, eh, she'll be right. And also with the, um, what was it, was with the foot pound, it's about 10 lower than what it could be. It should really be about 10 higher. But at the same time, it, it like that kilowatt to uh, foot pound, like that kind of fixes it. If you ask me, it's, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent accurate. I'm just trying to get it as accurate as I can get it, which meh, it seems to be all right. Um, so now with the body, what I want to do is I want to bring that boot in. I want to bring that nose in a bit. Bring that back a little bit and about there. See, that to me looks about right, but there's no guarantee that is right. So, eh, I, I don't really care. <laughs> um, all right, so body quality, yeah, we'll leave as is because it was 1975. Uh, we'll go a nice kind of silvery fox paint uh, yeah we'll go like a silvery a light silver if you ask me you can never go wrong with a light silver but at the same time that nice if we can find a nice sky blue yeah nice sky blue right there with a medium flake that if you ask me looks nice um, okay, so we'll hit OK on that. And then what we want to do is go the front bar and rear bar. We want to change that to chrome. Uh, not a red chrome, thank you. We want a nice silver chrome. Yeah, like that. That's what we want. Front and rear bar. Uh, now for headlights. There is only really one headlight that I do believe will kind of work, and that's 
this one here and bloody hell is it a pain in the ass to get working right. Alright, so because this took a long period of time, I'm just going to do what I normally do and pretty much um, speed it right away up so that way it's not so long and not as boring as what it would be to watch me sit there and actually go through it piece by piece. So, uh, yeah, hopefully enjoy the quick speed up. Yep, that looks good. Looks good to me. Alright, so I believe that's about it for our X dub. So now we need to go drivetrain. Hooray, we finally get to move on. We finally get to move forward. Uh, we want rear wheel drive, manual, four speed. We probably want around a four eight. And then we probably want that about 2.6. Now we want to be able to hit at least 87. Uh, so we want a, wait a second. 
uh, GDHO phase two used a Detroit locker. So it would have been an automatic locker from, yeah, it would have been a manual locker. We'll just do that. Manual locker will work. Um, so we want a final drive. We'll go three, five. Three, five, final drive. Bring that to about there. Uh, then we'll go uh, radials. Go medium compound. Bump that. Even though, yes, they did come stock with 15s. Uh, sorry, 14s. Kind of want to go the 15s. Uh, we'll bump that up to 20. So, tyre wise, they did actually run the two. Uh, 15 inches were allowed. But they were eight by fifteens, so that would have been so that would have been the two hundred fives there. So we'll leave them at the two hundred fives. Okay, so we'll leave that at about that. Um, we'll go a magnesium alloy. So we'll go a solid disc two piston, solid disc two piston. Uh, we'll have to bump up the brakes later. We want semi-clad. Do we want fully clad? Semi-clad will be right. Oh, I also forgot to put the wang on it. Uh, where's the wang? Wangs, wangs, wangs. Uh, wings, there we go. I completely forgot about the wings. So we want that about there. And about there want that to be on the boot so that way the boot can be opened and we just want to change that to black okay so now we fix that we'll go back to aerodynamics uh, that's fine interior we'll go basic uh, we'll go a Standard 8 track. We'll go hydraulic. Basic 70 or standard 70s. We want a progressive gas monotube. Yeah, we'll just do that because you know what? Why not? It'll help handling wise. Uh, so now. I believe that's done. That wing doesn't look right, like it's sitting right. That's a bit better. Much better. Okay, so uh, what are we having issues with? So front brake force is low, rear brake force is low. That's fine. We can quickly fix that. So we'll bump these up. The actual size for them was 286 and to, uh, sorry, the rear was drum. I probably should have done that. Okay. Slight signs of, signs of brake fade. You know what? That will be fine. It just won't want to brake on the front. Um, I could bump that up a little bit there. That'll be fine. Um, Engine's running too rich. Car has issues with wheel spin. Okay, so wheel spin. Where is my gearing? There is my gearing. 97% wheel spin. Okay, so we can fix this. 232, 169. Which uh, it's not going to be able to get. Uh, 129 and a 1. So these I can edit later on. Um, then what was the final gear? Final gear was there we go. Ninety percent wheel spin. That'll be fine. Um, okay, so clearance brake uh, brake show brake fade. Engine's running too rich. Car has issues with wheel spin, reducing drivability. That's fine. Uh, one or more quality settings is high. What if I up this? You know what? I'm upping this. 
We're not really caring about quality settings. Ah, uh, well, that was actually a bit better. There we go, 100%. Brakes are fine. Aerodynamics, fine. We want that front wing, uh, wing angle being about right. We'll go fully clad, semi clad. How's that affect our steering? Ah, yeah, that's fine. We'll dip into understeer, but then we'll come out at higher speeds. That's fine. Okay. So now, uh, that's fine. You know what? A little bit of oversteer is not going to hurt. See, she's she's right in the sportiness. Not really. Uh, that'll be fine there. So suspension-wise, should be right. Um, all right. So that should be about right. Uh, all up, I think that's it. Uh, we'll just name this the XW GTHO Phase 2. Alrighty, so we'll name this the GDHO Phase 2. Um, all up, I reckon it's not looking too bad. It's not far off. I will try and bring up a photo of one. Um, I'm not going to do the side decals that they normally have to have saying 351 because that's a lot of effort. I've already spent an hour and 15 minutes um, just doing pretty much all the body work. Um, so other than that, I believe that's about right. Just have one more quick glance through. Yeah, that'll be fine. actually bring that just up ever so slightly there we go hey that actually got rid of the brake fade issue huh look at that alrighty so uh, we'll give this a quick listen engine wise because we never did that um, where are we yeah we never actually gave this engine a quick listen so we'll do this love those hand claps in the background um, yeah so that was that uh, that's all of that we've got it down to some very minor things so we'll save this one we'll export it to um, uh, BeamNG that's the one and then we'll um, see how we go we'll see how we go in Beam see if it drives alright or if it's rubbish and uh, see if it's upload worthy of um, BeamNG mods. Alrighty, so we are in BeamNG at the moment. Uh, we are on Crash Hard 2.0 at the suspension test area. As you can see, I've spawned in the XDub GDHO Phase 2, rada rada ra, so forth, so on. Um, I've spawned that in and I've locked the rear diff, so I've uh, where are we? Yeah, so I've locked the rear diff, so that's all locked up now, and we'll just turn it on and give her a quick run, see how she comes out. Got to admit, she sounds alright. Oh, I, I need to change to manual gearbox. Oh, she's definitely got a bit of wheel spin. Now... She can do it second gear takeoff, that's good. And she can do a burnout. Now let's let let's try and take do a first gear burnout. Second gear. And she can spin it up alright. Well that that that's that counts. Considering back in the day, a lot of people who did have these did actually just 
use them for burnouts. Because back in the day, we used to be able to have V8s on our Red Ps. Now, Red Ps was pretty much our stage two of getting our license. First, we had our Ls, where we had our parents sit with us. Then we had our Red Ps, where you were able to drive on your own. And then after being on your Red Ps for 12 months, then you were able to go to your Green Ps. As long as you didn't do any bad things on the road, you were good. Well, that's... Oh, she's getting a bit walky. Getting a bit walky. Get back on the track. Uh, Suspension-wise, she's not too bad. She's kind of handling these uh, all right. Uh, whoop. All right, so kind of handled them all right. Not the greatest, but all right. Come on, turn around. Thank you. We'll do another second gear takeoff, just so that way we don't have to deal with that uh, wheel spin. Launch it. Oop, it landed all right. So that's actually not too bad. This has actually come out all right, other than minor decal damage, but that doesn't really matter. So where are we? We want to go around the side here. Put her in second. Oh, look at that. Runs absolutely beautiful. This would have to be one of the best cars that I've built. Oh, hang on. She doesn't turn at speed, though. Seems if you want it to turn, got to drift it. And then good luck getting it back. Wow. Um, I can say one thing. They need to bring superchargers into automation. They really need to bring superchargers into automation. Because superchargers would make it perfect. Alright. So now, we'll see how it handles. Oh, that's slapping a bit. Wheel spin. Come on. Oh, big hit. Pretty much missed all of those, that's fine. Another big hit. But at the same time, we're not going overly fast, so we're, we're doing 60 to 70 kilometers an hour. That That is not overly fast. Oh, a little bit too hard on the throttle there. I kind of want to do a burnout and see how long it'd take for it to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. And now we're gonna go... Oh! Big solid hit. Caved in the front left-hand quarter. Oh, how we going there? Engine's dried up. That's always a good sign. So... All up. So far, it's a giant boat. Whoa. Shit. Well, she's hitting the end of the uh, crater now. Come on. Yes. Whoa. And we lost a tyre. Now only thing with LSDs and open diffs is I find that LSDs are a lot easier to catch in a slide whereas the open diffs aren't as easy to catch but whether you're experienced or not they're like that also comes into play but with this I just can't seem to catch it in those higher gears so we've topped out at about 220 come on can we make the gorge can we make it? Well, I'm going to classify that as a we made it, even though we're a banana, a stripping banana. Uh, no, pole dancing banana. I reckon we'll give that one more shot. Honestly, this is a little bit easier to control. You 
can't really catch it in a slide with the open diff, but with the open diff compared to the LSD, it is, well, with the manual locker unlocked, um, it is easier to catch. It is a lot easier to catch. Oh, sorry, not easier to catch, easier to control. Oh, she's getting the shakes up. Come on, get back in line. Doesn't help that I'm using a controller. Get back in line, get back in line. We can make this gorge. Oh! I would say we landed it. Can we roll back on our lid? Can we roll back? And that's a big no. Um, well, at least we get a good look at the underneath. Alrighty, so we're on this straight bit now. Uh, and pretty much we're going to give it a quick run, see if we can pretty much keep it straight, try and get it up into a high gear and how we go. Now... It's a lot harder the, with a controller than what it would be with a steering wheel. I kind of wish I had the steering wheel up and going, but I don't currently because I'd be able to control this a hell of a lot better considering I'm using the Xbox 360 controller at the moment and let's just say it's not as sensitive throttle-wise as I'd like. Come on, catch. So, it seems at 115, it just wants to step out. 115 k an hour and wants to step out. That's not the greatest. Uh, what if we go open diff? Well, unlock the diff is more so what I meant. There we go. got to admit she sounds nice well it's not wanting to kick out as much still wants to kick out as to why we're off in the grass now I have heard stories of people who have gotten stock XW Falcons Fairmonts and pretty much Getting them, I've heard of them getting them up to 200k an hour, which isn't too bad, um, especially for a stock one. But I believe the GDHO was capable of more than 200k an hour. Not much more, but I believe it was capable of more. And as you can see, we come to a nice sliding halt. Um, I'm actually thinking, just quickly, I might pit this in a bit of a race against the BA. All right, so as you can see, we have got our X-Dub versing our BA. Now, this is going to be a very unfair fight for the BA, considering I do believe the BA, if we have a look here, I have not corrected the suspension issues that we were having. I have not fixed any of that, so that BA is probably going to have a very solid hard time keeping up with the X-Dub, but that is only if the X-Dub can remain straight. But we have got it paused, and so pretty much where they're going to be racing to is right away down the road here, pretty much to where we crashed before, which is right away down around all the yada yada good long while away with the power of video editing i could show it to you but i probably already have um all right so we are ready to race we'll be going in three two one go so as we see the x dub is first off the ba struggled a little bit so we see the they're often racing, going over the first hill. 
The X dub is miles. Well, I wouldn't say miles, but is a good long way in front. The BA there is struggling to keep up. Now, where's this X dub? The X dub. Oh, he goes into a slide. He's gone too hard into that corner. Will he be able to keep it going before the BA gets him? Or well, BA's coming up, and BA has passed. The BA has passed the XW. And it seems the XW is a bit stuck. So that means that the BA, there's a good chance it is going to win. This BA here is just hauling ass. Yeah, the BA is absolutely hauling, whereas the X-Dub, whilst the X-Dub can go faster, the X-Dub can go much faster than the BA. The BA, oh, which has crashed out just before the finish line. Oh, and there goes the XW. Oh, that looked painful. Uh, and the BA wins. The XW crashed and it crashed hard. It has lost a tire. It has lost a wheel. I'm half tempted to reset this XW to see if that can happen again so we can follow along. So we'll reset that and we'll hope that it does it again. Hopefully it does, because I would love to see that. Just obviously not controllable for the AI. So what's happened here? Oh, so he tried to break, went careering off. Oh, wow. Well, that explains what happened. He tried to break and went careering off went too hard into the corner. But all in all, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you would like, like, favourite and subscribe. Um, it would help me out a lot and it would show that you guys are wanting more if you're able to. Um, the comments and reception that I've gotten so far, I'd like to thank you guys so much. It has actually been grouse doing these videos and I've been wanting to do these videos for such a long time. It just sucks that I have two jobs and that I've got to work so much. Otherwise, I would be pumping these videos out day, like there would be a video every day if I had the capabilities. But due to my having two jobs, a child and a partner, it's not exactly that easy. Um, but yes, again, I'd like to thank you for watching. It means a hell of a lot. Uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, and don't forget, if you want to see more videos from me, uh, just hit that notification, leave a comment below. I'll try and get to everyone's comments. Like, uh, I believe I'm yet to do a Ranger and a LS Patrol. So that'll be interesting. Um, but be prepared for those videos because they will be the next ones coming up after this one. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good bloody night.